Hello and uh, welcome back. My name is Balvinder and I'm associated with Indian Institute of Technology at Roper. Let's look at some more details about uh, how to run a MOOC. Generally, if you look at the tasks that are involved in running a MOOC, you could clearly see three major threads. So the first one is about the event itself, that is the MOOC event. And then another major thread is about technology platform. And the third one is about the content. So when we're looking at the event itself, you need to start by looking at your course team. You have to form the team itself. So that has to start early and it also depends on what kind of course is it that you are looking to offer as a MOOC. And then for the event, you also have to look at the infrastructure setup and the course setup. And additionally, you have concerns such as publicity and operation of the event, that is the MOOC itself. When looking at the technology platform, the major things that you have to look at is the choice of MOOC management system, the platform technology platform, the software application on which you are going to host the MOOC. So it, what kind of features you're looking at, for example, and how you are going to deploy it, where you are going to deploy it, that is what is MOOC hosting uh, talking about. And then content preparation, how do you prepare the content? Uh, for example, where do you record the video, etc. In what format and so on and so forth. So that is what goes into the technology platform related track. And then finally about the content, you have to have a clear schedule of various topics. In what sequence do you want to cover various topics that are forming the part of your MOOC? And then you have to look at the speakers who will speak about what topic in the MOOC. And then eventually the recording of the lectures itself and preparing whatever material has to go into the MOOC. So overall, these are the three major tracks which one has to worry about when you are looking to offer a MOOC whether as an individual or as an organization. Now let's look at each of these tracks in slightly more detail. Now looking at the event organization, roughly you will have to first identify the course team. Then you will have to look at the course structure itself. For example, what are the outline, what is the outline of various topics and modules that you're looking to cover in your MOOC and then what is the process of assessment and certification, etc. So this is what goes into defining the course structure, how you're going to structure the course itself. If you look at, it's not much different from any classroom kind of course structuring. So there also, you're looking to outline what topics will be discussed and in what order and what will be the assessment method, etc., etc. Now about the course team, you start by looking at the course team first, of course. So where you have to look at who are the instructors or speakers, what are the, uh, who are the teaching assistants and any technical support personnel that you might need to run the course, to run the MOOC. And then about infrastructure setup, you have to look at what MOOC MS are you looking to use. We looked at in a previous lecture, what are various options about uh, MOOC management system. For example, you could use a LMS and similarly, you have to look at content creation, but how are you going to create the content where to record, for example, whether you are going to record uh, in a professional studio or you are going to do some kind of a home recording in a do it yourself kind of a fashion. Running the MOOC involves looking at registration. What is the process of registration until what time the registration is open for the participants and so on and so forth. And then, what is the periodicity in which you are going to release the content? Are you going to release the video lectures, for example, every day or every week? And then monitoring the class itself, the online class. And finally, student assessment. So these are the things which form the part of running the MOOC as an event. Now let's look at the technology platform track. Here we said there are three major things. One is choosing a MOOC management system another identifying a host where do you want to deploy it and then third important thing is creation of the content that is the video lectures and any other auxiliary content that you want to host or offer as part of the MOOC. So choosing a MOOC management system you could use uh, LMS we have seen in a previous lecture slightly more details about these two things that is about the MOOC MS choice as well as looking at the uh, hosting options 
content creation tools you could record the videos you could record the content in a professional studio or you could do it in house uh, in a do it yourself kind of a manner course content let's look at those so there are three major items to look at in this uh, segment in this track first one is schedule of the topics that is what topics are going to be covered in the mooc and then in what order are you going to cover those topics it is important to make this schedule to facilitate the recording in a appropriate time so in case you are recording uh, it, in case you don't have the content pre-recorded then you need to make sure that your scheduling and recording is set up in the right fashion you have to identify of course the speakers who are going to deliver various video lectures and then preparation of the content you could record the content at home or using a professional studio and then of course finally the speakers have to review the recorded content and advise any fine tuning that might have to be done in the recorded content so essentially for the course content these are the broad tasks that one has to do so for this track which we term as running the mooc event or running the mooc you have to look at these four major heads first one is it starts with registration then content release monitoring the class and then finally doing student assessment if it is applicable to a particular mooc now registration could be done online as well as offline or in a hybrid fashion or both and then there may be issues related to payments if your mooc is a paid mooc then you might have to look at how would you receive the payments so these are the concerns which you have to worry about during running of the mooc so registration is where it generally starts with then you have to look at content release what is the periodicity weekly daily etc or you release the entire content at once so that users or the students are free to browse or watch the lectures uh, at their own convenience time and in their own convenient order and then monitoring the class forms an important uh, activity in in this uh, mooc event so you have to watch keep a watch on the forums as well as chat rooms for the activities of participants you also have to keep a watch on the analytics that is if you want to identify and alert the students who are not uh, engaging enough into the course uh, so you might want to watch the analytics to prod to alert those students to come back to the course and you know take advantage of whatever is available on the course and then finally for the ass assessment you have to look at uh, what form of quizzes you want to host and what is going to be their periodicity are you going to have a quiz after every module or you are going to have just one quiz at the end of the entire mooc so these are the concerns which you have to worry about uh, while looking at the student assessment aspect of running the mooc and of course then you have to look at analytics as well to identify uh, how much uh, to identify the level of engagement of various students so this is what we have seen overall for running a mooc tasks that mooc organizers have to look at they can fall into three major tracks we saw events then technology platforms and then finally the content and in each one of those for example event you have to start with looking at the course team formation and then you look at the infrastructure setup for the course and operation that is what falls into the event management bucket and then you look at the technology platform bucket where you have to look at uh, mooc management system and hosting option as well as content creation aspects and then the content itself is a separate track or a concern in itself so you have to look at the schedule of topics you have to look at who will speak on what topic that is you have to identify the speakers and then finally schedule the recording of the content so these are the broad task categories and tracks about how to run a mooc thank you